Previously on Solar Balls. Billions of years ago, the planet Thea conducts research on how to create life. She determines that a specific distance from the sun is needed so water remains liquid. But it turns out, that orbit belongs to Proto-Earth. I knew it! I knew you liked her! Shh, not so loud, Mars! Come on, space is big enough. I doubt Thea can hear you from her orbit. What was that? Could it be an exoplanet? Maybe. Uh, come on, let's go. Nah, dude. I'm good. Mars and I heard something moving near the asteroid belt. I guess it was you. No, it wasn't me. I didn't hear anything. I'm just looking for asteroids for my life projects. But there's nothing else in the asteroid belt. How could it not be you? I... Uh, I don't know. Listen, I... What was that? Whoa, you were not kidding. There is something else out there. Whoever you are! Reveal yourself! <laughs> Sorry! D -d 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 didn't mean to scare you! Another, Another rocky, rocky planet? planet? Rocky, what? Wait, how can we be sure he is a rocky planet? Good point. <clears throat> hey, you! Do you have a solid surface? I... guess? Are you composed of mostly rock and metal? Yep, rock and metal. What about your structure? I have a core, then a mantle, and then a crust. Checks all the boxes. What's your name? Ceres. And you live here, all by yourself? Y yes How? I mean, this is no place for a planet to live in. It's super dangerous and- Only if you don't understand it. Understand what? Entropy! Whatever system rules our universe always spreads out everything. Whether it's energy or heat, everything moves towards randomness, toward separation, toward disorder. My fault? Did my gravity do all of this? Throughout millions of years, celestial bodies have collided with each other, breaking into smaller parts. This is one reason why the asteroid belt lacks large planets. Just a big collection of rocks and dust spread out randomly. Everything you see around us is our universe in a nutshell. But that can't be right. That can't be everything. Maybe later, things will- Change? Yes, but only towards more disorder, more chaos. Matter will die. Our universe will be infested by black holes, and then one day, everything will return to nothing. No time, no space, nothing. So, everything is pointless? Yes. Everything is pointless. Thea! <laughs> hey, what was that? Are you okay? I'm fine. I just need a moment. Okay, I'll be here if you need me. He's wrong! Ceres is wrong! I don't think so. I've also noticed some of the things he's talking about. This... entropy thing? But if the universal nature is disorder, then how can something as specific, organized, and perfect as life occur? 
Maybe it can, maybe it can't, but if what we heard is true... Then it has to be wrong! We have the right conditions! We have the sun! We have water! We have... Leia, can you stop this? Why are you trying so hard for this to work? Why? Why, you ask? Yes, there has to be a reason, or... Just feel it, Proto. Life has to exist. Can't you feel it? Can't you see this universe was built for life? It wasn't built for life, Thea. We have the right conditions, but they won't last. This is just a little window of time in the infinitesimally long time ahead of our universe, okay? The future is dark and cold and dead. Why do you want life so much? I'll tell you why. Tell me! Because darkness can't win. Darkness? What are you on about? We have to fight against the chaos. Even if it breaks every rule of how this universe works, we have to fight against it. It can't all be destruction and nothingness. <sighs> it's not all dark. You know, the first time you spoke to me about life, I... I was scared. I thought you said it was impossible. I can feel what you feel, this urge to create life, to bring something more to this universe, and it terrifies me. What? Why? The responsibility of it all, not being good enough, failing them, succumbing to the chaos, an asteroid, a solar flare. So much can go wrong in this dark, dark universe. Proto. But it's not as dark as I thought. You're talking about the sun? No. I know you like me. Am I that obvious? I heard you earlier. Oh. And? And I don't want you to change who you are just because of me. Maybe it's okay that you are more playful and energetic, and sometimes rude and careless. You're like this big ball of entropy. And that's not all that I am. I'm also uh, passionate and, and organized, and, uh, and I'm a very good singer. Listen. <clears throat> Wait! What's up? Maybe that's the key. Life can't emerge opposing entropy, but rather because of it. But entropy is disorder. Yes, but there are organized systems that emerge from this disorder. The sun, for example, is basically a big entropy machine. He radiates so much energy away into the cosmos. And yet, look at him. That is what life has to be. A big ball of plasma? No, an organized system born through randomness and disorder that increases the entropy of the universe. From chaos comes order. And from order, chaos. Proto, are you with me? You know I am. Then, let's change the universe. Want to watch the next episode? Eh? Uh -huh. Well, join our Patreon to watch it and support the show.